Okay, let's again continue with our last five years FMG questions. Uh, this today would be the last class. So we've done into four parts. Yeah, so this is the last part, final part. So I guess I know that you guys are already uh, very you know, excited. Some might be a little bit stressful, but it doesn't matter. It's easy. You guys will do great. And I have all your all my hopes in you. Okay, and whatever I revised, you know that it's very easy. How the way I taught you, you will never forget it. Even if you want to forget, you will not forget it. Okay, so let's start with the question. So, which of the following dimorphic fungi causes the subcutaneous mycosis? From the last class, from the last question, previous question, you remember, right? You already remember. What is that? Do you remember how to remember for this? Uh, uh, how do you remember for the? Uh, once again, sorry, I want to remove this out so that will go away. Yeah, fine. Yes, okay. So you remember from last time uh, how to remember the dimorphic fungi? We want to remember the dimorphic fungi. Dimorphic fungi. The shortcut is what? Dimorphic fungi. You have to remember as what? Dimorphic fungi. How you remember the shortcut is very simple. All the dangerous things: heat, blast, cock, hikaro, cockaro, paracockaro, cock and paracockaro, karo. Pen or Marnipi. Yeah, Maro, Pencil Marnipi. Final is spot. Sporotric Shankai. Okay, sorry, dangerous thing. Ajata. Now, in all these things, dimorphic fungi, all of them, they cause systemic manifestation. Usually, pulmonary infection is common for all of them. Okay, but one thing is not. Which one? Which one causes the uh, subcutaneous mycosis? Yes, for as you already have a clue. Sporothrix, okay, subcutaneous mycosis, it causes subcutaneous infection. We'll, uh, we, we will talk about it in a while now. So, okay, that is sporothrix, okay. So, how to remember what are the subcutaneous causing mycosis? The shortcut is MRCS, MRCS, okay, MRCS. MRCS is, you know, it's a, for the uh, higher studies. So, M for mycetoma. This also, the question was asked for mycetoma topic. R for rhinosporidiosis, reno sporidiosis, rhinosporidiosis, and rhinosporidiosis is mostly an ENT1, okay? And then C is chromoblasto, chromoblasto, chromoblasto. We are going to discuss this also. We have a question has been asked in previous MC, chromoblasto, chromoblastomycosis. And then yes is your sporothrix, sporothrix, shankai. Okay, sporothrix, sporothrix, shankai. S-E-N-K-I-I, okay, sporothrix, shankai. Okay, so now, uh, important thing here, each one, mycetoma, we have a question, so we're going to discuss it there. And what about the uh, renus produces? Renus produces, you remember strawberry? You remember, right? Okay, this is renus produces, cosmic renus produces, seabury. Here, the characteristic feature is your strawberry nose. Strawberry nose. If you remember strawberry nose, it will come here. Okay. And strawberry vagina or cervix, we already spoke, we talk in uh, parasitology. It, is, it was your which one? Your trichomonas vaginalis. Very good. And your strawberry uh, tongue is in your strawberry tongue is in your scarlet fever don't forget okay these are microbiological some important strawberries you have to remember okay strawberry nose strawberry uh, vagina strawberry cervix is in trachea trachomonas vagina trisha trisha ka strawberry pasende and other strawberries in your scarlet fever okay strawberry tongue okay now uh, chromoblasto mycosis chromoblasto we are going to talk sporothrix shankai we are going to talk it okay now let's little bit discuss about sporothrix shankai already i spoke we already spoke about you nothing to talk extra but still once again i am going to revise you sporothrix shankai Sporothrix shenkai, when the sporothrix comes, sporothrix shenkai. Okay, shenkai. S H E E N K I I. Sporothrix shenkai. Mainly, this is otherwise called what? Gardner's disease. Gardner's disease. Gardner's disease. Okay, Gardner's disease. Means, Kirta, yeah, I told you how to remember. You have to remember a gardener. Uh, once again, I hope the picture was here. Oh, sorry, it's not here. Okay. Ah, so, how to how to remember this is basically a gardener. Okay, first of all, I'm sorry, let me go to the pen. Yeah, so it's a gardener disease, number one. Number two, most common in the Himalaya, Himalaya region. Because in Himalayas, most of the people, even the rose garden, usually called rose gardeners also, you call it gardener or rose gardener especially, because in Himalayas, they have a lot, lot of rose plants. So what happened? The gardeners, when they're working with this rose plant, the thorn prick, you know, the thorn prick hits on their legs or arms, any extremities, may, the thorn prick happens. Okay, thorn prick, we do thorn prick, it happens. Then what happened when the thorn pricks happen? Then you have what? Row of ulcers. Row of ulcers are jata. Okay. I've shown you in the previous pictures also. Row of ulcers. Okay. Row of ulcer or ulcer in the same margin along the foot. Say ulcer, ulcer can say foot, a path, a trace or path trace or it look like this. Okay. Then the row of ulcer is many times repeated. This comes that is porotrick. Gardener's disease is Okay. And then findings, but what is the important? We just spoke about previous one. 
there are important things. What are the uh, diagnosis part? Mein? One is the, what you will see, asteroid body, right? Asteroid body. Asteroid body, asteroid body is basically, if you remember uh, in the previous, uh, this row, this one, if you remember here, this picture we discussed, this is the one. So this is the asteroid body. Asteroid body, like it looks like an asteroid. And asteroid ka beach mein end mein there is small, small, total motor, this particle. So that is called what? Splendor hopefully. Splendor hopefully, right? Splendor hopefully. This is splendor hopefully. This is the, I'm sorry, this is splendor hopefully. Splendor hopefully phenomena. That's called splendor uh, hopefully phenomena. Okay. Splendor hopefully phenomena they call. And also one more thing important is that what is important here? You might see uh, when, well, in a stain, when a stain, you will see what is what is what is the one you see? You see cigar bundle appearance. Cigar bundle. Okay, cigar bundle. This same only. This see this asteroid body splendor, hopefully, cigar bundle. The picture all are almost same. We have different, different names. That is okay. Cigar bundle. And one more thing is that when uh, when you do an LPCB, what you are seeing, you are able to see what a rose appearance, rose appearance, okay, rose flower appearance, rose appearance, or rose flower appearance. Same thing. Barbar again, again, it's coming. So, yamper, sporotix, so rose garden, you will not do gardener, the rose garden, anything related with the rose, you will answer. You will not make any mistake. And asteroid, gardener ke paas hai, asteroid hai, dusra kya hai, uske paas, splendor bike hai. Remember, gardener ke paas kya hai, gardener has a splendor bike. Splendor bike, splendor bike. Okay, gardener ke paas hai, splendor bike. Ye yaad kalo. Splendor bike kiske paas hai, gardener has, gardener, gardener has splendor bike. Then what does he like? Cigarette pina pasan. He likes to smoke cigar. Okay, cigar bundle. Cigar bundle. Okay, cigar bundle and gardener. G, uh, G, I'm sorry. Gardener. Okay, gardener. This gardener ke paas splendor by ke. Oh, cigar pina pasan. Okay, this is important for your sporotric shankai. This is important. Another one, of course. He has asteroid. Asteroid and flower, you will not forget. Asteroid and flower is same, same only. Okay, so then. One more thing. If I say splendor, hopefully here, there is there any other disease that has? Yes, there's one more disease. That is which one? That is not uh, other disease. Which one is that? You can remember. Anybody remember who else has a splendor bike? Apart from our gardener, who has? You have active Israel guy. Active Israel. Active Israel. So, what is this? What is this? Where did this come Active Israel is nothing. Active Israel is nothing but actinomyces israeli. Actinomyces israeli. Active Israeli ladkoon ke paas bhi hai. Actinomyces israeli. Unke paas bhi splendor bike. Okay. Actinomyces israeli bolti hai. But I shortly remember it as uh, active Israeli guy. Okay. Active Israeli guy. That was splendor bike. Okay. So, splendor two days. हिमालयन रॉ फल्सर गार्डनर ए बॉडी एस्ट्रॉइड बॉडी और सिगर बॉडी ऐसा आ जाएगा तो यू डेफिनेटली मार्केट एस फोर्थ शंके नो डाउट इन ओके चलो लेट्स गो टू द नेक्स्ट वन नाउ लुक एट दिस वन आईडेंटिफाई आईडेंटिफाई द ऑर्गेनिज्म आईडेंटिफाई द ऑर्गेनिज्म आईडेंटिफाई द ऑर्गेनिज्म ओके हियर आईडेंटिफाई द ऑर्गेनिज्म व्हिच गिवन गिवन द स्लाइड स्टेंड विद gomori methylamine silver methylamine silver stain is usually for fungus okay i already told silver means itself the uh, the organism will look what black color any silver, the organism will look black color. Okay, that you remember, black color. So uh, it shows what what they, they found an acute angle on silver methylamine uh, stain. They found this acute branching septate hyphae. Acute angle branching septate hyphae. Okay, so this was the picture. Sometimes they might give picture, sometimes they may not give picture, but please remember the clue is here acute, you know, acute yay. A S for septate. A S acute matlab. It's like this. See, say acute angle, 45 degree. You know, acute, not 90. It's a let's say they go everywhere. You see acute, acute. Okay. Then septa hai. You see, if you see clearly inside, there are the septas. Each hyphae ke beech mein there is septa, septa. Okay, there is septas. These are septas. Okay. So iska kaise A S A S stand for aspergillus. Okay na? A S A S for aspergillus. That's the answer. Very simple. You got it? I'll show you how the mucor mucus. Next time you can have a mucor mucus. So please remember acute angle, acute angle essay. And if you have a separate hyphae, that is your aspergillus. Okay, got it? So now you they have given this is the silver gomeris methylamine silver. But it can be like this also. See, the stain can be <clears throat> they can give in different way. See this thing. 
uh, this is methylamine silver we saw okay the, the picture can be like this also deeply they go sare se v v v matlab they are acute angles so aspergillus okay either be they go in fact this is pa stain past stain maybe you see they are acute angle acute 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 plus you see septate type so a acute hai septate hai. as as hoga to kya aayega as as so it is aspergillus aspergillus bas very very easy okay very very easy aspergillus so why are you confused? Very simple. You will not make mistake in this. Okay. Now next one is you do look at this one. Same. Uh, uh, usually aspergillus. Okay. Maybe this time you can expect out. Uh, which one? Mucor mycosis. Mucor mycosis. Me. Mucor me. Mucor or mucor mycosis. The disease name. Mucor. Mucor means it's a rhizopus. Uh, Apsida, this family. Okay. Mucor, Rhizopus, Apsida family. So they are totally called mucor. Okay, mucor. Or zygo, or zygomycosis. They call zygomycosis, of course, zygomycosis or mucor mycosis. They all come in the same category only. So this is how you know mucor mycosis. They have, they have, see the angle. How is the angle? It is, it is not acute. It is wide angle. Okay, it is wide angle. Wide angle. Okay, almost like this. You see, SAA. It's like this wide angle, like 90 degrees. It's not acute, acute, mate. It's like this and acute, like this. But here it is wide angle. Okay, it's wide angle and no septate, no septate or aseptate. Both we call it as aseptate. Okay, no septate or aseptate. So, these are the questions you should know. Okay, wide angle is exactly opposite to aspergillus. Aspergillus may acute angle septate, yamper wide angle and no septate. That's the question. Okay. Wide, wide, okay, okay, wide mucor uh, is wide with no septate. That's, that's just opposite. Aspergillus ko hoga toh mucor ke hoga. You don't need to need clue on that. Asper A is ka yaad kar lo. A for acute angle, S for septate. Isko opposite kya hai? Uh, say, yeah, acute hai toh, it will be wide angle. Wide angle, septate to the aseptate. So aseptate hoga toh, that is your mucor mycosis. Very simple, okay. So now you can expect this time, this question can come in, this coming exam, upcoming exam, okay. So please be careful and it's very easy. Don't make a mistake. Either mucor or rigo, they are same, okay. Yeah. Nice. Now next, identify the dermatophyte based on the macroconidia shown in the image. Macroconidia shown in the image. This is also one question which you uh, you have to be uh, careful and thorough. Okay. What are they? Let us see. Now see uh, macroconidia shown in the picture. Picture means you this this picture like this. No, when the picture comes like this. Okay, like this or like this. You see this is like this. This is called club. Club, club, club. You call this club shape. Club shaped macroconidia. Club kiske pas hota hai? Who is the owner of club? Ebenezer. Ebi, Ebenezer. Ebenezer. See, in South, whenever you go to uh, Kerala or Tamil Nadu, whatever, whenever the club, you the club owner, usually his name is Ebi. The pub. The pub and the club. Okay? For drinking, you know, parties. So, the owner will be usually Ebi. So, Ebi ke pas club hai. So, club hai to Ebi madhav epidermophyton. You got it? Epidermophyton. Right? So, now, uh, I'll show you what. But then, before that, see. Let's go to this picture. So, these are the three things. Okay? How to remember. So these are the three in uh, I'll I'll write now. This is first one is your trichophyton. Okay. Trichophyton. Trichophyton. And the second one is your epidermophyton. 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 And the last one is your microsporon. Microsporon. Sporon. Right? Okay. Now, how to search ye kaise abhi, uh, how to identify it. I'll tell you. Don't worry. Don't worry. Very simple and easy. You don't need to worry about micro. Micro is easy, easy, easy. Trichophyton may try here. So trichomet may affect what? The important point is you should know it affects the skin, nail, hair. Sub ko, tino ko, sub nail, hair. Thik hai? Ho gaya. Tino, try for three. Epidermophyton, it will not be three. Only two. Epidermo, now skin to sub ko common. See, you're talking about skin, skin disease. So tino may skin, skin to aega. Skin will be affected all. But epidermophyton is skin plus kya hai? nail. Nail. Uske kese yada karna? Epidermo. Ep, epidermophyton ka skin. See, skin ke touch kya. Whenever you talk about. Uh, uh, once again, I'm just sorry. I told it. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. If you remember epidermophyton. Uh, sorry. Once again, let me just take this. Yeah. So if you take the epidermophyton, N is there. Ending may N. So nail will come. Got it? Epidermophyton, N is there, and I yeah. Okay. Now in the microsporum, microsporum, yeah. In microsporum, yeah. In microsporum, skin plus, what will be? Hair. Is cup yaad ne arabi, kese yaad kori? Micro hair. Ese yaad kori? Micro hair. Hair to micro hota hai? Micro hair. Remember like that. Small hair, micro hair. Very easy. Aapke yaad ne yaad kori? Skin to common for everything. But aapke kuch confused na aar hai to, remember micro hair. Micro hair. Bas, tick hai? Very simple. Epidermophyton, skin and nail. This, this will be one question, right? Okay. Now, in everywhere, you remember, we have macroconidias. These are the macroconidias. These, we are, whatever the picture is shown here, these are macro, 
conidias, macro conidias. Okay, picture me. What is the shape of this macro conidia? What you're seeing here? Okay, say these are called pencil tip. Okay, pencil tip. So pencil tip, pencil tip. How to remember? Always try, try, hai na? Every time, try to write with pencil first. Try to write with pencil first. Koi bhi exam or whatever, try to write with pencil first. Or when you start your studies from LKG, you, you tried what? You try to write with pencil first. Okay. Pencil first. Okay. Yeah. So try to write it. Try. Try for trichophyton. Write with pencil. Easy. Right? Try with pencil. Bas. So, yeah. Second one, I already made a bold. This macro kundia. Club shape hai. Club kis ke paas hai? Club is with the AB. AB, AB Nasar ke paas hai club. He is the owner of the club in South. I don't know about not in South here. In uh, Tamil land, in Kerala, everywhere you go. In Andhra also, the club or Bangalore, you go. The owner name is usually AB. Club ka koi bhi owner ka naam poochho, AB Nasar AB hoga. Okay, right? Fine. Now what about this? This one, microsporin. Microsporin mein, see, micro, micro. Amara microbiology. Microsporin, ab sab jab micro padai karte ho, kya hota hai apka gale mein? Spin hota hai. You will be spin. You will be spinning. Hana, neither the, not in my class, not in my micro, but generally whenever you study micro, but you also, kya hota hai? You will spin. Micro, you will spin. So kya ho gaya? Micro, microsporin mein kya hai? Spindle shape. Ye ek bolte hai. This is spindle. Okay, spindle. Okay, like this, 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 this. So this is a spindle shape. Spindle shaped macroconia. Spindle shaped macroconia. Got it? Spindle shaped. It's because spindle shape was your micro spin. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's it. So, why? Definitely, this is a definite expected question. It's me a question. Definitely. Okay. These are basically what what are all these things are basically what you generally call it as dermatophytes. These are called all these things in a broad way. And all these things together we call it as dermatophytes. D E R M A T O P H Y T E S dermatophytes. Okay, the dermatophytes means the superficial skin infection. Now all your tinea guinea is there. Na? Those things are the superficial skin infections. So in that dermatophytosis is usually caused with these three only: trichophyton, epidermophyton, or microsporin. Okay, superficial fungal infections. Okay, subcutaneous me MRCS. Okay, so uh, so in superficial infection me this is the one: dermatophytes and tinea. Tinea will come. Okay, so the costive agents are related to these only. Okay, these are the costive agents. Okay, now what about microconia? Microconia. If you talk about Microconidia, microconidia, though is canamet trichophyton, yamper microcoides abundant. Microconidia is present only in the first one. First one, okay, only in the trichophyton. Trichophyton, but ah, and ame, was come microconidia. Hai. But ye dono in a micro and if it micro, now micro, but usme microconidia, nahi hai. they are negative or rare. Negative or rare, okay, so they are not there. They are absent, absent, negative, negative. Negative, negative. But only microcondia is present only in trichot. Trichophyton is everything. Trichophyton is bada naam hai, sab kuch hai. Microcondia hai, microcondia hai. But epidermo uh, microsporin dono mein nahi hai. Microcondia is not there. Though naam micro hai, usme micro nahi hai. Epidermo bhi nahi hai. This you remember, okay? This is very important picture for their skin point of view also and for micro point of view also, okay? I'm sure you guys know, so I'm moving, okay? Don't forget, try to write with a pencil. Try to write with a pencil. Ebenezer ke paas hai club hai. Micro parne mein spin hota hai. Mera gale mein spinning hota hai. Okay. Okay. Micro spindle. Spindle shape. Okay. Microsporum spindle shape. Okay. Very easy. Simple. Now we go to next one. Yeah. Now look at this, this question. This will be an another interesting question. I'm sure. Uh, so what here, here what I've given an AIDS patient, uh, an AIDS, AIDS positive patient came with a history of fever, vomiting and meningismus. So again, characteristic meningitis. Which of the following tests help in the rapid diagnosis of cryptococcal meningitis? So as we're repeating, the most common cause of uh, uh, meningitis in HIV positive or AIDS patient is cryptococcal meningitis that you know. Now I want to do a rapid diagnosis. So what will I do? What are the possibilities I have? Usually, you know, this is the cryptococcus. If you talk about cryptococcus, it is the only, it is the only, it is the only Capsulated fungi. Okay. When I talk about cryptococcus, when I talk about cryptococcus, crypto, see cryptococcus, cryptococcus. Okay. This is the only capsulated fungi, if you remember. Only capsulated fungi. There are a few, but that's rare. You don't have to remember all. For, uh, for us, important is cryptococcus is the only capsulated C for C, cryptococcus. Okay. Okay. Capsulated. Okay. Yeah, one more confusion comes here. Histoplasma capsulatum pura nam histoplasma capsule. But me capsule nahi hai. Please remember. Okay. Histoplasma pura nam histoplasma capsulatum hai. But that is not a true capsule. Okay. That is not a true capsule. Crypto, only cryptococcus has capsule. True capsule, capsulated. Okay. So usually what are the tests you will do? So capsulated, you will do what? This is the this is the in negative staining. Negative staining you can do. What you can do? You can do Indian ink or negrosin. Indian ink or negrosin. 
So the background will be negative and uh, the background will be dark. And then you'll see this capsule is signing, the white color the capsule is signing. You can find, okay, this is easy one. But the question there, are, this is one thing, one method. And apart from that, we can do another test called rapid test. This is a rapid test. It's kind of very simple. So here is the, uh, this is the rapid test, you no know, rapid latex agglutination test, uh, lat latex agglutination test. So here, nothing. You have to take this, they take this chip out, take this card out, and you put your blood here, put your blood into this one here. Yeah, right? You put your blood here and then buffer your and leave it. So control positive one, then whatever, cryptococcus, whatever, uh, uh, we have species, cryptococcus, per woman, so many other species are there. So for that, if you want to find, if it comes positive, sometimes only one is enough, and two, whatever. So here it should come positive. Okay, then it's a positive. So immediately, within, within, hardly takes 10 minutes. Okay, so rapid test. This is a rapid test latex. Apart from that, of course, what you can do, you can do a lot of culture methods. We have culture. Culture may what? A normal ST also it grows. Apart from that, we have what? Uh, bird seed. If you remember, bird seed. Bird seed. Agar. Bird seed. Agar. Niger seed. Agar. So many names are there. Niger seed. Bird seed. So these are, their colony will be black in color. The name itself says bird or niger. No? So it will be black color colony. You see black color colony scene. Okay. And STMA, it is the yeast. It's a true yeast. It's the only true yeast. Cryptococcus is the only true yeast. Candida is a yeast like. If you talk about true yeast, only you will talk about cryptococcus. That's also one question. It's all a question, question, question. Okay, question. And one more important thing, which is the bird, which is the bird for cryptococcus? You remember, we, uh, because we're discussing everything, you should answer everything. You examine a clue, they, uh, what they'll give you clue? PGN, yes. PGN say, do right now. HIV patients, they have to stay away from the PGN, even kids also, because PGN ka fika say, you get a cryptococcus. Okay, remember, okay. And you know that when you talk about PGN is for cryptococcus. So though, what about other birds? You have these few birds in histoplasma. In histoplasma, what did we study? In histoplasma, darling, kya hai? KFK under, we are not going to have romance because Ohio, Mississippi, KFK and said bat kya deta hai? Bat will give you TB. Okay, remember histoplasma, bat. It's black, bat. Okay, bat. So, pigeon kaha hai? There is a disease where pigeon is a problem. Uh, not pigeon, sorry, I'm sorry. This is. Huh. Parrot. Parrot is a problem. Which is the uh, which is the one? Parrot, parrot cause which disease? Your chlamydia. Yes, chlamydia. Don't forget, okay? Chlamydia, cetacosis. Chlamydia, cetacosis, cetacosis. Chlamydia, cetacosis. In, uh, in revision class, I'll try to revise that. But now we remember, okay? Bird, I guess. So you remember the uh, pigeon for the pigeon for the cryptococcus, histoplasm and bat. And for parrot, this for chlamydia, cetacosis. The 11th and coli bodies will come. The coli will, coli ke upar, ye beta, parrot beta. Okay, I made very easy in my class. But I'll try in a uh, further class, revision class. So try to make it easier for you. Okay, so at least you remember now for these things. Okay, that's it. Okay, yeah. Now, next. So, uh, so now there, the question, there's a rapid diagnosis. Now, what to do for rapid diagnosis? So, for rapid diagnosis, I can't go, uh, uh, let's see, Indian ink preparation, I can do, but not that sensitive, right? Because CSF, you don't know what is the amount of cryptos here. So, it, it, it's not right. It's not the upright answer. Blood culture, don't know, it will take time. It will, you know, at minimum, overnight incubation is needed, right? Minimum, but fungus usually takes even longer time. So, it's not possible. So we'll leave it. So only good answer is your blood later flow assay for cryptococcal antigen. Finish. This is your answer. Rapid test. Rapid test is the gold standard. Nowadays, cryptococcal rapid test is the very gold standard. Very confirmatory and gold standard, you can say. Okay. Very specific test. So lateral flow assay. Lateral flow assay or lat or lateral agglutination, whatever. Okay. You say it is uh, late, uh, uh, rapid lateral flow assay. That's it. Okay. So this is the one which I showed you the picture. This is the one. This is called lateral flow assay. This is the one lateral flow assay. Latex agglutination process. Antigen antibody called agglutination. Okay. Right? That's it. You will find it. Okay. Very easy. Okay. Now let's go to the next question. Now next question. Look at this question. Here, here given a 24 year uh, old woman. She has women pruritic hypopigmented macule, hypopigmented macule and over a chest, confluent patch over chest and then skin scrapping did it and KOH was done, which shows abundance of yeast cell and filaments, short branch of filament, which is looking like, yeah, you already got the Spaghetti and meatball. Spaghetti and meatball appearance. Okay. Excuse me. Spaghetti or meatball appearance. They give they you grapes and banana. Okay. Grapes and banana. Like this. You know, spaghetti or noodles. Noodles. Is a spaghetti is a meat. This is a uh, filamentous form. I say. Okay. So sometimes it looks like a banana and grapes also. Banana and grapes appearance. Okay. Banana and grapes. So now what would be answer? Who likes spaghetti and meatball? Even if you forgot, you should know. Which is who, who is that girl? She loves spaghetti and meatball. Okay. Her name is 
Mala, right. Mala. Pity Mala. I call her a pity Mala. Okay, pity Mala. This is the answer. Mala Sisya Farfar. Okay. Trigovitan climate, but there's no link at all. Okay, there's no, not even. Trigovitan got dermatophytic infection, not this one. Okay, this is typical finding. Pruritic hypermicrobes will come in the pity Mala. Mala Sisya Farfar. Now we'll, we'll, let's talk about it more. Okay. Sir, how to remember? Very easy. See, look at this pretty girl. She's Mala. Okay. Koi bhi Mala, not this girl. You can take any Mala if you like. So, Mala, she's very pity. Pity because she keeps on eating, you know, that's what. Okay. So pity mala. Okay. And she what she's eating? She's eating what? She's eating there. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. She's a foodie. But actually, pity mala is very why pity. She's foodie, foodie, foodie. She likes a lot of food. Spaghetti and meatball katia sometimes. Sometimes what happens? She eats the which one? Your uh, banana and grapes. She eats banana and grapes. Okay, banana and grapes. And then banana and grapes she eats. Okay. And then what happened? Look at this. She poor, this girl got what? She got this rash. That's called pitriasis. The, 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 the rash name is pitriosis versicolor, tinea versicolor. Pitriasis versicolor. Versicolor. That's what I call her pity. Why I call her pity? Because pity mala means pitriasis versicolor or tinea versicolor. Tinea versicolor, the same. And mala, because mala, the, the, the costive agent is mala sisia purpur. Mala sisia Pur, 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 pur. I love the name, you know, Malasasia Purpur. It, it sounds very funny. Okay. And then, but she's not, not only spaghetti and meat is enough for her. She also likes what? She also likes, uh, she likes the fried egg. Fried egg. See, she eats fried egg. Fried egg on when this appearance happens with olive oil. When you put olive oil, olive oil in this SDA media, sabrodextrose agar media, SDA, you know, SDA special media for your uh, fungus, right? The if in STM media, if you put the uh, olive oil, what happened? Uh, the, the fried egg appearance will come like this. This is the fried egg appearance. So she, that's what I said. She's a foodie, foodie, foodie. Don't forget. Mala is a foodie. So now, okay, sir, that is fine. But where is the, uh, uh, how, uh, whatever picture I can get? You can get either this picture, clinical picture of hypopigmented patches you're seeing here, this white color patches, pruritic, or look at this beautiful picture. These are things, spaghetti, these are the spaghetti and meatballs, the dot dot is meat. Or you can say banana and grapes, banana and grapes. So this is the picture you can have. This is LPCB stain, okay? LPCB stain, mein, they have made it. Got it? So easy. So very simple. Mala is perfect. There's no charge will make mistake. And now after this clue, you will never. Mala, pity mala. Pity mala ka hypopigmented rash hai, itching kata rita hai. So thoda is dirty girl. Remember, she's a dirty girl. Itna nati nahi hai. So bar bar uska e aata hai. But she loves to eat what? All the delicious food, spaghetti and meatball, banana and grapes, and then this fried egg with olive oil. Obi olive oil ke saath hai. Okay, so very easy. Got it? Very simple. Pitiasis versicolor. So you can expect this question. Many, I think one of the common, many times asked questions is this examiner's favorite. Okay, so remember this. Next question. Now, the farmer, here, uh, another important question. Here, a farmer presents with a swollen foot and multiple sinuses as shown in the below picture, which is most likely diagnosis. So here, this is the picture. You see, there is multiple sinuses. So definitely, you can already say there is a swelling. Swelling, kesa, there is sinus and the, there's a discharge also. But here, they haven't mentioned they're only swollen is given. So this combination of swelling plus sinus plus discharge. Discharge with granules or usually with granules. This is typical picture of what? Your mycetoma. Mycetoma. Mycetoma is the one that has this picture. Okay. Answer is mycetoma. Uh, squamous cell carcinoma, not sinus that common. So rule it out. Sporotrix may, I said what? Uska ulcer, hota, but it will be row of ulcers along the lymphatic, along the lymphatic system, either leg or uska along with time. So that's not. Chromoblastomycosis may, the lesion is very what? It is very verucious. It's like verucious. We call very uh, varicose epidermatitis. Okay, varicose epidermatitis. So that is what like the lesion will be like a what? Okay, I'll show you. So that is also not. So here with multiple sinus and discharge, very simple mycetoma or mother of food. Okay, now let's talk about uh, mycetoma. Sir, what do you know about mycetoma? Why it's important? Yes, there are mycetoma. They can you can have expert uh, question here. Mycetoma can be two types. You know that one is what actino. Actino, mycetoma, mycetoma, and other one is what? Your you, mycetoma, you mycetoma. Very simple. Okay. Now, kese yaad karo, sir. A for apple, B for ball. So, A ke baad B aata hai. So, actinomycetes B for bacteria. 
bacteria, right? Bacteria, bacteria may anything. It could be your actinomyces, nocardia, so many species are there in a bacteria, right? Actinomyces, nocardia. Eumycetoma means it is your fungi. E ke baad kya aata hai? Hef aata hai. E for a heifer fish. So E ke baad hef aata hai, fungi. So fungi may be a lot of fungus, okay? Ga, ga, madurella and so many other species are there. Do you remember eumycetoma, okay? Here the difference, actinomycetoma, you'll have multiple sinus, usually. Here it is usually, fungi may usually few sinuses, one or few sinuses only. In the previous question, they given multiple sinuses, but it is mycetoma. It can be most likely bacterial, but it can be fungus also, okay, with the granules. And here, whatever the granules you're seeing, bacteria may, bacteria may granules are usually, kaise hota hai? Yellow color. It will be, I'm sorry, it would be usually yellow color granules. The granules are very yellow, yellow to white granules, yellow to white granules. But here it's usually black to brown granules, black or brown granules. Hota hai. Brown granules. That's it. These are the main differences. Okay. That's it. So this you have to know. And every mycetoma is the same. Mother of it, it looks like whatever the picture we have seen below. This is much you remember the mycetoma. Okay. That's all. Okay. Now let's go to the next one. The form. And one more thing. Uh, usually in actinomycetoma, uh, actinomycetoma, bacteria cause, usually treatment would be antibiotics. You go with the antibiotics, uh, cotrimoxazole or whatever antibiotics accordingly susceptible. But here in eumycetoma fungi, it usually ends with amputation. It usually ends with amputation. That's another point. Okay. Extra point just to know. Okay. These are all our questions. At least bacteria fungi should end. This is about the mycetoma. Okay. Got it? Now next. Now next question. Another interesting question. I think uh, many of you guys must be liking this question. Uh, the picture itself gives you a lot of clue. But let's go to the question. A farmer. First clue is farmer. Second one. He has a warty. Just now I repeated in the previous other options. Me, one thing where what like lesion. Warty cutaneous lesion on the food. That is what may, you can guess. But apart from that, an histopathological image of growth is given. They took a histo they made a histopathological slide and they have put a picture. Which is mostly diagnosis. So by seeing this. Either by this you should tell warty cutaneous food. It, which is like this. It will look like sometimes you can get this picture also. Okay, this one. Or it is this one, copper penny. So this is called copper penny. Okay. So let me just go here. Uh, so this is called this this picture is what? Copper penny they call. This is called. See, it looks like a coin, no? Uh, copper penny. Penny must love coin. Yeah. In US my penny is coin. Penny. Copper penny. Or other name is called sclerotic. The thoda sa metallic jesa lag rahe na. Sclerotic body. Sclerotic bodies. Or you also call medlar, medlar bodies, medlar body, or mureform. Wow, it's a name cells. Okay, you just mureform body, mureform, mureform cells, or mureform body. All right, mureform cells, mureform, mure, mure, and mure, kurkure, mure, mure. Okay, that mure, it looks like that. It looks like medlar body. Sclerotic body, copper penny bodies. Okay, copper penny bodies. So these are the name. So these are characteristic for what? Yes, are they go? Kese lag It looks like a metal. Metal is a chrome. Chrome and a chrome is a metal. So chrome. So chrome is. So it looks like a chrome. Sclerotic metal. So that is the chromoblastomycosis. Okay, chromoblastomycosis. Very very simple. Chromoblastomycosis. Chrome jesa hai. So chromoblastomycosis. And remember, chromoblastomycosis is not a dimorphic fungi it is uh, it's a it's 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 a, it's a fungi which causes subcutaneous mycosis okay subcutaneous so it is all the 3c mrc you know causes the uh subcutaneous but a wala picture only in chromoblastomycosis you will get okay so now just see this lesion you'll get idea so when you talk about chromoblastomycosis this is a chromoblastomycosis a little bit let's know more about chromoblastomycosis first of all see farmer it's common in the farmer so farmer keto chromoblastomycosis the causative agents are Fonsaceae, 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 okay, Fonsaceae is one species, Exophiala, Exophiala, Fiala bhi dekho, farmer, fa, 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 farmer jesa hai, Fonsaceae, farmer, Fonsaceae, and we have Fialophora, 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 fa, fa, is maybe fa hai, farmer, farmer, Fialophora, or Clado, CHLA, Clado, Fialophora, Clado, Fialo, Clado, Fialo, Clado, Fialo, Fialo, okay, I'm sorry, Fialo, okay, Fialo, okay, Fialo, Fialo, Fora, Fialo, Fora, okay, the names are a little bit uh, googly googly, but you don't worry about spelling, uh, you remember the clue what I'm giving, fa, 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 farmer, fa, 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 ta, na, yes, are aapko, it comes to chromoblastomycosis, okay, chromoblastomycosis, and listen, usually, uh, chromoblastomycosis, yeah, 
and uh, so see when you say farmer means even sporotics so gardener is also farmer only so these all are farmer diseases okay so don't uh, mistake anything yeah so this thing another one is what is the solution this is the varicose varicose dermatitis varicose dermatitis or watch like lesion whatever all are same varicose dermatitis or watch okay that's it so varicose lesion or watch so you when you make a uh, stick when you take in this and you make a smear and you put a fungal stain what do you get you are getting a copper penny appearance copper penny or sclerotic body medullar body whatever see they all are you see the name is it tells you, you know, it gives a lot of clue it's like uh, the chrome it's like a chrome the, all these are like a coin you no know, coins are made up of chrome so chromoblastomycosis okay finished that's it so this is your chromoblastoma. So you will not make the second chromoblastomycosis. Okay, okay. Remember, sclerotic body, asteroid body is for sporothrix, but sclerotic body is for chromoblastomycosis. Okay, don't forget. Okay, right. Now next, the stain used for what is the stain that is used for the uh, fungal elements? Fungal elements they were asked. Okay, fungal elements, fungus. So fungus ka what what stain we can use? Acid first stain can be used? No, acid first unit is for your TB, TB leprosy. Mainly for TB leprosy and apart from that, acid first parasites, you remember, cryptocycloiso, sometimes snocardia also, you can include for those things. Gram stain for bacteria. Gram stain is totally for bacteria. And methylamine silver is for the fungus. Yes, right. Okay. Methylamine silver. So what are the stains, other stains which I should know in the fungal element for the fungus? Let's go here. These are the stains commonly we are using. Okay. These are the stains once again. Yeah. So what are the stains? The first stain. This is the Gomori methylamine silver. Gomori methylamine silver. We have discussed many times here. Yeah? Gomori methylamine silver. GMS. Silver stain. That's basically silver stain. So everything looks black. So next time, if they give this picture, tell identify which stain. So you should be able to answer the black color. When black silver means black. Okay, black silver. Black color means it's a silver. Just you should know. This is sort of uh, see. It's glowing. Glowing means it's a fluorescent. No, it should be fluorescent. It should be a fluorescent stain. So fluorescent stain for fluorescent stain for Fungi. What is that? What is the stain? Well, we, we call it as calcofluor white. Calcofluor white. Calcofluor white. Calcofluor white. White color shine of time. See, you see shining white color. Calcofluor white. This also can be a question. But same fluorescent sign. What for? Uh, so, microbiotic TB ke liye hai? Yes, we have. Kya hai? Microbiotic tuberculosis ke remember? Auramine and rhodamine. Auramine and uh, R H O D A Roda mine mine M mycobacterium. Is kele me likhte ho mycobacterium ko si M in case if you forget in case if you forget I know you don't forget it's very easy. The Roda Roda is there and then of course one more for your malaria plasmodium for malaria malaria is plasmodium malaria plasmodium ke liye plasmodium ke liye what you use acridin orange also question acridin acridin orange acridin orange acridin orange okay don't confuse with the uh, Albert don't confuse the pass passes for uh, not this past stain, pan, uh, pan, pan stain. You remember pan? What is this? I remember, right? We did, uh, we discussed previously. That is Albert stain, nasal stain, ponder stain. Ponder Albert nasal. This is for your coronary bacterium, diphtheria. Coronary bacterium, but they are not fluorescent stain. They are special stains. Don't confuse with this mix. I'm just giving a clue. Okay, this is totally different stain. They are the they are the the, st the stains for the granules. They are st uh, they are special stain for granules of the coronavirus bacteria. Okay, I'm just bringing it here so that just thing. Okay, it's totally different one. But fluorescent stains may you will have oramin, rhodamine, calcofluor white, and acridin orange for your malaria. Bas itna hi yaad karo fluorescent ka. Very simple. No need to confuse. Okay. Ye dekho pink color hai. You see the staining is like looking like a pink, pink, pink. Hai na? pink, 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 pink ka. This is a fungal stain. Uska kya bolte pass. Okay. Periodic acid chapters, not periodic, periodic, it doesn't matter. Okay, just remember pass, pass pink color, pass pink color also for your fungus. Yet, you know, important. Apart from this, apart from this, number one, uh, gomari silver, uh, gomari methamine silver, number two, fluorescent, number three, pass. We also have which one? LPCB, LPCB. LPCB is lactophenol cotton blue. Lactophenol cotton blue. Blue, blue, no, blue. Cotton blue, we call, some people they call this cotton blue also. LPCB. Okay. Yeah, this is the, this is the, uh, up may, I, I showed you many fungus before and all. If you see why it is blue, blue color, because of this only. Up when SDA medium up calling ho chai, huh? If the if the yeast comes, yeast or mold come, you have to put it in LPCB for seeing the morphological future. So anything from the growth, if you want to see in microbiology, in mycology, the best is LPCB. Okay, and of course to say the truth, we don't use all these things, this uh, GMS, fluorescent.
fluorescent, pass and all, it's not available in all the labs. It's only in high profile labs they have. In usual common lab, they use only LPCB. That's what I'm saying. So please stress on LPCB only. LPCB is the most, most, most important one compared to other. If you want to see the morphology of fungus or if you want to see the morphology after growth from the cultured media, you do LPCB only. LPCB. Okay, that's the most commonly used one. So LPCB is for your fungus. If you can have a question from LPCB also. Don't forget. Okay. So silver, methylamine silver or fluorescent or pass LPCB. LPCB is most commonly used. Okay, that's important. Right. Now, next one. Yeah, we almost done with the uh, mycology part also. Now we're going to the general uh, uh, microbiology. So we'll try to cover as much as possible. It's also fun. The general microbiology is also fun. Okay, let me, let, let's start. Let's start now. Yeah, let's start now. So what is the biological indicator? The biological indicator for determining the efficacy of autoclave. Autoclave, they're given autoclave. You know, you know, right? You know. So for autoclave, you can see Pseudomonas aeruginosa, Clostridium perfringens. I never heard anywhere Pseudomonas per, uh, aeruginosa, Clostridium perfringens. Clostridium may be used, Tetani and other thing, but not perfringens is used. And we have basically Stereothermophilus and Sarmatrips. Sarmatrips are definitely ne we never use. So you know the answer. So what is that? This is like mandatory question you must be knowing. Bacillus stereothermophilus. Bacillus stereothermophilus. Bacillus stereothermophilus. This is the answer. Okay. You know, the answer is in my clue. Me agya, bacillus stereothermophilus. Okay. Now let's talk. Now let's talk about said iska how to remember. Yeah, let's go. How to remember. Biological indicators are indicators for uh uh, uh sterilization karte hon, oh, sterilization is valid or not uska determine karne ke liye, we use the biological indicators biological indicators mein basically kya hoti, is indicators ko spores hai na, the spores we will put it along with the autoclave karte ho us saman ke saath ye spores bhi aap dal dete ho andar in no small bottles and then after autoclave ke baad, you take it and then what happened you open it break it and see for look for a color change you incubate it also of course you incubate and look for a color change or we do a culture we'll do a culture and see in an anaerobic environment they're growing or not because most of the spores are here grows in anaerobic environment only depends whether bacillus means aerobic if it's close to anaerobic you put in this environment and see wait for 48 hours and see if the growth is there. if the growth is there then that is invalid your autoclave or hotter water keta wo uh se hua nahi hai. so what do you do you have to repeat it you have to repeat it that's the importance of biological indica that's what you can have questions from there okay so now let's you guys will tell me now autoclave or uh, plasma sterilization. In the same same year, in the same, we are using the same organism. What is that article plasma sterilization, which is the one? Abhi just we talked. It is Bacillus stero thermophilus. Deko. Thermo agya. Thermo is matlab temperature, na? Thermo, thermophilus. Thermos, Samara thermos, na? thermos autoclave ke jesa hai, right? Thermos, remember like that, whatever, how we want, that's like autoclave, autoclave, thermos, thermophilus, so plasma in the no term aega. okay, this is your thermos, this is, this is mandatory, very repeated question, commonly puchta hai, so you should know, but nowadays, trend is changing, they can ask anything, so let's go to hot air oven, hot air oven ka, you might think, sir, iska kaise yaad kal hai, very, very simple, dekho, hot air oven, hot, 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 sub hot air, Kya hot hai? Hot tea hai, hot sabji hai, hot sabji hai, or hot, hot aata roti hai, aata, aati hai, okay, hot aata roti, pass ho gaya, finished, sir, ye kya, sir, ye kya, hot hot bol ye kya hot hai, so, tea matlab, clostridium tetani, ho gaya, clostridium tetani, a gaya, don't, no mnemonics, no studies, nothing, just remember like this, garam garam tea, clostridium tetani, for hot or oven, or garam garam sabji, iska basilus subtilis bolti hai, subtilis ka sabji bana do, subtilis, subtilis sabji, ho gaya, or dousra hai basilus atrophius, 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 basilus, basilus subtilis, basilus atrophius, bas, itna hi hai, okay, got it, hotti sabji, aata roti, basilus atrophius, itna hi hai, simple, ho gaya, got, very good. Now, there are other things also, radiation bhi hai, radiation hai, radiation to easy hai, dekho, R radiation, R, P, dono same, same lagte hai. Or PR, PR to hai na, public relation. Ho gaya. So that is Bacillus fumilis, fumi, P for puma, fumilis, 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 okay. Fumilis, ye bhi kushan sakta hai. Okay, then what is next one? Next one is your, anything left? Yes, which one? Your gas sterilization. Or dousra naam kya hai? Ethylene oxide. They ask you ethylene, ethylene 
ऑक्साइड एथिलीन एथिलीन ऑक्साइड इसको कैसे याद करो एथिलीन ऑक्साइड रिमेम्बर राइट वो रेस्पिरेटर मशीन हॉट लंग मशीन का बेस्ट वे टू स्टेलाइस एथिलीन ऑक्साइड एथी एथी विल हेल्प दम एथी विल हेल्प दी आईसीयू में किसी को रेस्पिरेटर और हार्ट लंग मशीन चाहिए उनका एथी हेल्प करती है मैं इसका कैसे हेल्प करूं एथी हमको कैसे हेल्प करती है सो एथी क्या एथी का फेवरेट क्या है एथी आई एम सॉरी हां एथी ईट्स गोभी फिर उसके क्या बनता है ज्यादा गोभी खाने में क्या आता है गैस बनता है देन शी का गेट गैस हो गया सो व्हाट सर ये क्या सर ई एथी फॉर एथिलीन ऑक्साइड एथी हमारे एथी लड़की She eats gobi, kate kate rati hai gobi ko. So gobi kyu aaya sir? Because iska biological indicator for gas relation ethylene oxide is biological uh, bacillus globi G, globi G, globi G ko me gobi kar diya. Globi G, okay? It's, it's names are terrible. Okay, don't you don't care about names and all. It's just for examination you need. So bacillus globi G, gas sterilization. Ab confused hoga to gas sterilization ko gas kiska hai? Ethi ko hai. Abka aise they can give you this. Which of the following is used in gas sterilization? This one, ethylene oxide. So, it is easy. Okay, right? So, these are the things commonly asked question. Hot tea, sabji, atta, and yeah, one more thing I forgot. Filtration. This filtration is a little tricky. Hai. Achhi se dekh lo, but dikkat nahi hai. It's very easy. Filtration. See, they go. यूजुअली फिल्ट्रेशन फोर का यू नंबर जीरो पॉइंट टू माइक्रोन है ये समवेयर इन सब पीजी एक्शन दे वास्ट दिस क्वेश्चन फिल्टर का कितना होना चाहिए जीरो पॉइंट टू माइक्रो होना चाहिए फॉर एफेक्टिव फिल्ट्रेशन ओके राइट नाउ फिल्ट्रेशन के लिए व्हाट इज द बायोलॉजिकल इंडिकेटर अब तो पता है साउथ इंडियन में वी लव फिल्टर कॉफी वी लव फिल्टर कॉफी फिल्टर कॉफी में कौन से फिल्टर कॉफी पसंद है हमको ब्रू ब्रू फिल्टर कॉफी वी ड्रिंक ओनली ब्रू फिल्टर कॉफी ओके नॉट लियो फिल्टर कॉफी ओके सम पीपल विल से लियो फिल्टर कॉफी नो वी लाइक ब्रू फिल्टर कॉफी नॉट नेस कॉफी आल्सो ब्रू फिल्टर सो अभी एग्जाम के लिए यू रिमेंबर ब्लू फिल्टर कॉफी ओनली सर इज ठीक है सर सो व्हाट इज दिस ब्रू फिल्टर कॉफी दिस इज बेसिकली ब्रुवेंडी मोनास ब्रू वेन डी मोन इज इट इज इट बिलोंग्स टू सुडोमोनास ग्रुप ओके द नेम इज ब्रुवेंडी मोनास Diminuta, diminuta, diminuta is basically diminuta is minute, you know. फिल्टर तो माइनट होता है इसका अच्छा कॉफी मिलता है ना फिल्टर सो फिल्टर का बुक ब्रुवेंडी मोनास ब्रुवेंडी मोनास ब्रू अच्छा फिल्टर कॉफी बस This is the best part. So biological indicator is in your fingertips. For sure, it's in your fingertips. That's what I say. Microbiology is in your fingertips. So you don't have to use your brain. Use comedy sense. Use comedy sense. Your subject will be super duper easy. At least for microbiology, I can assure you. Okay, right. You got it right. So I'm going to next topic. Yeah. Now sporulation. This is another very nice, interesting topic. Sporulation. Okay. Sporulation. Me kya sir? What to know? So sporulation. Me. One second. Let me change the color. Yeah, sporulation occurs in which phase of the bacterial growth? Sporulation. Is me already clue hai. Is se apko pata chal jata hai. Yes, for sporulation, it happens in the stationary phase only. Okay. Now, now let's see, sir. Is ka kaise please help karo how to remember? I know most of you guys must be knowing this, but still we'll revise one more time. Na, there will be some people who don't know this. So apko growth ka vaise hota hai na? Usually bacteria ka growth vaise hota hai. It start like this. Uh, what do you call? It is a lag. Okay, lag, log. Stationary and then decline phase. Anna decline like this. Okay, so this is the lag. This is log. This is stationary. Stationary and this is decline. The last phase decline. Sab mar jata hai. Decline. Okay. Abi kaise yad karna hai? Lag phase me lag hai na? Ko if isse yad karo. This one question usually ask lag phase me. Which of the in uh, which of the following phase the bacteria goes maximum size? ये आता है maximum size कब होता है maximum size होता है end of the lag phase इसी में okay क्या होता है lag phase है तो lag uh, let's uh, lag phase में क्या होता है break okay you lag means a break a break or vacation time vacation time में अब क्या करते हो काते 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 क्या होता है you eat 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 everything and then what you become you become Fatty, you know na. Every girls have this problem when they go for vacation. When they come back, oh, they go, yeah, मुझे इतना बड़ा हो गया, पांच किलो ज़्यादा हो गया, दस किलो ज़्यादा हो गया. So lag phase means you become fatty, not fatty, maximum size. Fatty मतलब maximum size. So bacteria का maximum कब होता है? Lag phase में होता है. Lag phase में. College का पहले. Lag phase में. जब college में आता है, you will become active. Log phase आता है. So college में आते तो वो ना you will be 
working, you'll be going to gymming, you'll be, you know, very fit, fit. So bacterial size will decrease. It will slowly decrease. The size will decrease. So if you see lag, end of the lag phase, size will be very high. Just college ka pehle, just log, log pe shuru honi ka pehle tak. Matab, vacation ka end tak, you become bada. Bacterial size become maximum size. Ye question hai. Baut baut pooch chuka hai. Please remember, maximum size will be in a lag. Log nahi hai. Lag mein, log mein toh active ho. You're actively dividing so size better. You, you're in a college, you're going gymming, you're playing, everything you're doing in a college. You have to be fit. But break time mein kya hota hai? Break mein toh vacation mein chate ho. You eat and sleep eat and sleep eat and sip and you become big size okay right that's the way you're going to remember lag phase log phase stationary phase may how to remember stationary phase may remember like this stat is me clue hai. yes t a t stat yes for sporulation just now we saw sporulation yes for sporulation so stationary phase means sporulation here t for toxins production all the toxin productions happens here and a for antibiotics you know some of the uh, uh, microorganisms they produce antibiotics so antibiotics and what is here, uh, T and H, don't, T is not really T, make it as a B. It's me, okay, kya? Bacteriosin. 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 It's me, bacteriosin production of that. Yes. Stationary, me, these things. Decline, me, submerge. Jata hai. So, nothing there. Okay, so these are the things they lack. So, after two phase important, a lag phase or stationary phase is important. The question will be asked from that. That's it. Okay, got it? Now, let's go to the next one. Which of the following is specifically, uh, specifically, I'm sorry, uh, which of the following sold specifically in the gram negative bacteria? Gram negative bacteria, which is the most specific one they have asked. Okay, this is a very important question. Yes, now I'm going to change the color, it will be more easier for a second. So let's make gram positive. Ka. Gram positive will be purple color, you know that. That's why I'm putting this color, and gram negative is sort of. Pinky, pinky color, pink color, but I, I'll just put some something uh, more close to pink color. It will be sort of uh, like this, yeah, gram negative. Yes, okay. Now let's start a topic, you know, per positive people are purple and this we told a lot of times. So I don't want to repeat again and again. I don't want you guys to make boring. So, but one thing up, you know, positive people are purple color. Hai. Negative people are pinky. Angry hota hai. Negative people are very angry. Angry gusa gusa hota hai. Negative people. Angry people. So pink face hota hai. So can we positive people how they look? Positive people are very purple. They are beautiful. You know purple color. Okay. And then so positive with the McDonald's ka you know shortcut. Oh I'm not talking about that. Abhi is dono ka positive. Positive matlab P. You know P positive. P purple bhi hai. Dousra kya hai? Isme chada hai. Which one? Polypeptide. Peptidoglycan. I would say peptidoglycan. Polypeptide better. I would use the term peptidoglycan. Peptido glycan layer peptidoglycan layer is me jada hai p for positive p for peptidoglycan layer ye yaad karo p for pp pp dusra ek aur p kya they have what pentavalentine bridge penta valent pentavalent pentavalent bridge bridge hai usme five five uh, valency of five there are five these things will come if you are in that bond okay bridge so remember penta pentavalent that's enough pentavalent bridge yaad karo bas we have a positive man. Echo is tecoic acid. Tecoic acid is T or positive. A is positive T. So, tecoic acid. Tecoic acid. Remember like that. Okay. Some people remember it as PPT. PPT is the same. PPT. PT. Okay. Nay, no, remember this. Even if you forgot also PPT, T is like a positive. So, it is tecoic acid. Okay. So, this is for positive. This is a gram positive. Okay. Now, gram negative. Before going to gram negative, positive, ka ek, you know, this tecoic acid, uh, in some exam I saw, they asked use of tecoic. Tecoic acid is to stick. Stick. Anna? Stick. Yaad karo. Stick na hai. Kisi ko stick na hai. You know, mean attached with someone. So, sticking for attachment or attachment. A-T-T. A-T-T. You have clue. You have God has given you a lot of clue. You just only have to open your eyes and see. That's it. Nothing to do. Everything will come automatically. Okay. So stick is to attach. Okay. Attach or attachment. So tecoic acid. You got it? Tecoic acid. Very simple. Okay. Gram negative people. Gram negative people. Ek to pinky angry hota hai. Not only that. Gusa gusa mein kya hota hai? Angry people. They become so negative. That called. Unka. They become fatty. Both fatty hota hai. Kate kate na. Without, uh, with all the negativeness. Difference become fatty. Uh, hey, I am not offending any fatty people. It's just for clue only. Okay. So negative people are fatty. That means. Isme kya achal hai? Lipopolysaccharide. 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 Sometimes if the question comes, lipid is high in which one if they ask indirectly also, yaad karo, lipid is negative people ko jada hai. Negative people ko nothing like that. Most people are bad. But just for examination purpose, please remember like this. Okay. Lipid is more for negative people. So negative. 
नेगेटिव पीपल ओके रिमेम्बर लाइक दैट दैट्स इंपॉर्टेंट ओके सो दिस इज द डिफरेंस ओके फैटी पीपल नेगेटिव होता है हमेशा गुस्सा होता है नेगेटिव पीपल आर गुस्सा पिंक कलर और फैटी होता है उसको वजह से लिपोपोलिसिस ढूंढ कर जाता है दैट्स इट दिस मच ओनली यू शुड नो या एंड इफ यू रिमेम्बर टॉक्सिन ग्राम नेगेटिव में यू बिकॉज़ ऑफ दिस लिपोपोलिसैकराइड लेयर ओनली व्हिच टॉक्सिन वी हैव हियर एंडोटॉक्सिन एंडोटॉक्सिन इज स्पेसिफिक फॉर योर For negative, but exotoxin is for both. Exotoxin है वो दोनों का आता है. Exotoxin, 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 exotoxin दोनों में आता है. But endotoxin is specific only for your gram. You can have a question easily. You can have endo endotoxin is secreted from a lipopolysaccharide. Right? That lipopolysaccharide lipid is present only in the fatty people, negative people, negative people are pink in color. Okay, बस हो गया. What else you need? This is the thing you have to remember. Very very simple. So your answer would be here is lipopolysaccharide. Because capsule दोनों में आ सकता है, plasma भी दोनों में आ सकता है. Peptidoglycan is very typical for your gram positive. So I will go with my answer is lipopolysaccharide negative. Very very simple, easy easy easy. Okay, though I made uh, my classes other. If you have time, you go and revise it. Otherwise, just whatever I'm mean, these questions, what I'm revising, please attach. You will definitely have eighty to ninety percent. I've seen the pattern how they're asking. It's all here and there only. So they have taken the bits bits from here and there. So next time you can have about exotoxin endotoxin. So you can read endotoxin. You know it's from the lipopolysaccharide gram negative. Exotoxin both. One more thing, endotoxin will cause all the non-specific symptoms, fever. All the inflammation, fever, uh, you know, uh, chillness, all these non-specific infections, uh, uh, clinical symptoms are by your endotoxin. Okay, which is not present in gram positive. These are some questions you know you should know. Okay, right. Next, now I think we came to the last question. Yes, last question. So here, few things important in a sterilization. I told because they are always asking question from here. Which one of the following methods is used to sterilize the glass? Okay, I love this question. Glass petri dish. Okay, they go. Anything glassy, anything greasy, anything oily, anything liquidy, anything dusty, anything powdery. ये क्या करना है ये चीज को? You have to use only hot air oven. बिकॉज आप ऑटोक्लेव यूज करेगा तो स्टीम में क्या हो जाएगा सब बिगड़ जाएगा यू विल नॉट ऑफ प्रॉपर स्टेज नहीं तो ड्राई हो जाता है नहीं तो इट नॉट पेनिट्रेशन विल बी वेरी डिफिकल्ट सो वी आर यूजिंग हॉट एयर ओवन ओके रिमेम्बर हॉट एयर ओवन आ गया सो ग्लास मतलब ग्लास वेयर ओके ग्लास का मतलब है दिस इज ग्लास वेयर Greasy, any greasy substances. Okay, oil. If you want to use uh, liquid paraffin and all, then the liquid, you know, so liquid paraffin, liquid paraffin. Any oil or grease related substance. Okay, oil or grease related substance. Liquid paraffin. Dust, मतलब dusting powder. Dusting powder, uh, which you're using in your gloves. Dusting powder which you use in your gloves. ये पूरा आपको कहाँ पे hotter oven में आएगा. How to remember temperature? I know you know it's one sixty degree uh, for one twenty minutes. That means the answer is this one sixty degree for one twenty minutes. But sir, auto clock temperature confusion. No, you want to say yeah, but even again, I am okay. I mean, some people must have not studied, so still they're struggling. Hot means highest temperature. Hot to sub se highest temperature hoga. So one sixty, the leading one sixty temperature will go for hot air oven. Okay, or time be two hours. You have to give two hours. Okay, two hours. That is one twenty minutes. Two hours. ज्यादा हॉट मतलब ज्यादा है एंड बायोलॉजिकल इंडिकेटर आपको पता है ऑलरेडी मैंने बोल दिया हॉट चाय हॉट टी हॉट सब्जी हॉट आटा रोटी दैट मींस बेसिलस एट्रोपियस बेसिलस सब्टिलिस एंड योर क्लोस्ट्रिडियम टेटानिम वो तो ऑलरेडी बोल दिया तो टोली सो हॉट हॉट एयर ओवन तो सबसे फर्स्ट ऊपर है उसका नेक्स्ट क्या आएगा आपको ऑटो क्लेव आएगा सो ऑटो क्लेव को उससे थोड़ा टेम्परेचर कम है कितना है 121 डिग्री सेल्सियस आएगा जस्ट फॉर 15 मिनट्स 15 टू 20 मिनट्स 15 मिनट्स आइडियली एंड फॉर प्रेशर 15 15 पीएसआई बस ये हॉट एयर ओवन का बस है ना सो ऑटो एयर ओवन में ऑटो क्लेव में क्या क्या डालोगी वहां पर तो ये पूरा फॉर ऑटो ऑटो क्लेव में ऑल योर सर्जिकल स्टफ सर्जिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स यू कैन पुट सर्जिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स सर्जिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स एंड योर Uh, all the clothes, all the clothes, you know, uh, surgical clothes, you know, all the clothes you can put them, and a lot of medias. Medias also be sterilized in the, by any media in the microbiology lab we are using. All those medias for these things, autoclave is best. Okay, so this is the thing I want you to remember. That's it. Hot air oven, yeah, oh yeah, very simple. Okay, so this is the one important. See, but again, uh, you see there are um, I don't know inspiration, tendalization. Let me just talk a little bit about inspiration and tendalization. 
and then we'll finish the class. Okay. Now, uh, we, we when you talk about uh, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, we came to the end. You know, it should have just gone. One second, yeah. So I'll I'll write it here. And I was just searching for a place here. Once again, I'll write about inspiration and tindalization here. Yeah, there is a space here. Yeah. Okay, so we have something called intermittent sterilization. Intermittent sterilization. Okay, intermittent sterilization. Usme do thing aata hai. Ye kya hai? Ek one is inspiration. Dusra hai tindalization. T y n d a l i tindalization. Tindalization. Okay. Iska kaise yaad karna hai? Intermittent matlab. Iska what you do? You you intermittent heat for three days. Dono ka same. You intermittent heat for three days. Dono ka First day heat karna, chhod do. Second day, third day. Kitna gante ka, how long you heat? For inspiration, how to remember, inspiration it is 80 to 85 degree Celsius. For tindalization, kaise adhuko tin hai na, 10 karo. Tin ka 10 karo. So 10 into 10 is equal to 100 degree Celsius. 100 degree Celsius for 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Just for 20 minutes. Okay, 20 minutes. This is 20. Okay, this is 20 minutes. Okay, 20. Ha. This is for 30 minutes. Bus. Intermediate inspiration tindalization kis chis ka karte? Usually for any media that is containing the serum or, you know, egg, egg, serum, blood, jese, all this media. Example, your LSS media, coronavirus diphtheria ka, LJ media for your, which one you are? TB ke liye, right? These media should be sterilized in inspiration. They will always they'll get dried out. So you have to do it in LSS, LJ, or any heat sensitive containing media. You do it, okay? Tindalization also we can do for this also, but again remember heat sensitive material or sugar containing many heat or sugar, sugar containing or heat sensitive substances. Ko, you do tindalization or again you can do inspiration also. Both are interlinked okay but when they ask for media serum or egg media you choose inspiration okay best answer than tindalization but both are right but tindalization you the best one is be heat sensitive sugar containing media uh, 10 out of 10 for sugar containing media 100 but again you can do it for both both are interchangeable for both okay but the basic idea here first day you heat it so that what happened all the battery will die spores will germinate second day chord those when whatever the spores germinate they will grow third day if you're doing all that germinated spore wall of micro also get killed off. That means three days so that even whatever remaining is there, everything will be killed off. That's the idea of tindalization and inspiration. Both are intermittent heating. Just remember, temperature can be as inspiration and tindalization and temperature can be as. That's it. That's it, guys. So this is the final topic. So I'm glad that, you know, we did uh, all, I completed all five years. Come maximum question asked has completed. So now next will be one super first revision will be there soon. Okay. So until that, yeah, keep revising. And I'm sure in micro, you're not going to make any mistake. I'm very, uh, I have faith in you guys, okay? So all the best once again. God bless you guys. Do well. Uh, catch you soon.